It's 11.51. We're at the first border. We're Jordan and Emily, a couple who are spending their life savings traveling the world full time. Over the last eight months, we've taken overnight trains in Thailand, Vietnam, and Serbia, all to varying degrees of success. This is like 10 times better than I was expecting. Not that clean. Bribing the Serbian police was worth it. Even after the stressful moments, train journeys have become one of our favorite ways to travel. Tonight, we take an overnight train that really surprised us. It is 5pm and we are only just about to start our massive travel day. Tonight we are getting the Sofia Express which is an overnight train from Sofia to Istanbul but between us and beautiful Turkey stands 570 kilometers, 11 hours and hopefully one smooth border crossing. We've had trouble booking our international train tickets before, especially the overnight ones. Typically they sell out. So we came here two weeks ago to book our tickets on this overnight train. If you're looking to buy tickets online, you won't find them. You actually have to come to the train station to get them. Don't know why, just the way it is. We paid 21 euro and 10 cents each to get a spot on the train. And then we had to pay a 30 euro supplement, which guaranteed us a private cabin. It's just us two. Should be a lot better. Not a bad price for travel and accommodation. time on the beautiful Sofia Express with a full cabin tour. First impressions, it is incredibly spacious for a train. Look at this, I have my whole arms out. We still got space to move. I know they're not beds yet, but I'm quite impressed with that. I feel like normally the wall would be here. Don't you think? Other than that, there is a few amazing things that we weren't expecting to point out. We have a sink, which is something we absolutely love when we can get up on a train. It means you can wash your hands, brush your teeth in your cabin. You don't have to go to the stinky toilets. It looks like we have an outlet for a shaver, but I'm sure you could use it to charge. Plenty of space for our bags. We've got our big wheelies up top and our backpacks hanging. We've got the two beds currently in sofa mode. Even these are incredibly spacious and I believe like all train ones, it will pull down and they'll be made into beds. It's quiet. It's quite like old school styles, but pretty clean and like kept up to date. Whereas I feel like our Belgrade to Bar one was maybe a similar era but wasn't kept up to date. There's also a massive cupboard here which I don't know what's going to be in here. Some storage space and what looks like a little outlet. A fridge. With water. Little pretzel sticks. A juice. And what I assume is a chocolate, I don't know, a hobby. That's amazing. They're your pretzel sticks, you love the comments. I know. Let me flick down hummus. Had hummus on board. Oh my god. That's incredible. This makes me feel like it's closer to the train in Egypt than any other train we've gotten. And a table. A desk. A desk. I guess that's kind of good. Well, not really. <laughs> there appears to be the standard light controls but it also looks like we have air control in here as well it's not currently turned on and it's pretty hot we do have a window that opens but it's only the top bit so it's starting to get a bit steamy so these are our beds i'm assuming they'll come and make them for us <laughs> Pretty cozy looking pillow, a massive blanket, and the mattress seems pretty good as well. We have some clean linen, so I think they're going to come make these for us a bit later on, but I'm assuming that'll be when we take off in a couple of minutes. <sighs> Overall, I don't want to jinx it because obviously we haven't started yet. It's not the middle of the night and we're not being woken up by border patrol, but I'm really impressed, especially for the price. The fact that we have a fridge with some snacks and stuff in there just way exceeds my expectations. I feel like it's, I feel like it's very 
normal now that when I hop on <laughs> to a train toilet, the person before me hasn't flushed. I will say I have hopped on first thing, so it is extremely clean because I think I'm like the, well, maybe second person to use it. There is an option for a squatty potty or a regular western toilet. There's a window that's open. I've got a toilet cleaner, bin, toilet paper, assistance button, an outlet if you want to shave in here, soap and running water. I'd say that's a win for a train toilet. Plus, it doesn't smell that bad. And like I said, it's really clean right now. Might be one of the best toilets we've had. Seven minutes late is not bad. We've heard that on average, it's about one or two hours late into Istanbul. So starting seven minutes behind is not bad. I'm so excited. We're about 20 minutes in and the cabin attendant just came to check our tickets and our passport numbers. So when you board the train, there's not actually a cabin attendant outside to check and make sure that you're in the right one. You just find the cabin that looks right, try and find the matching numbers, jump in your cabin and they'll check your tickets about 20 minutes in. There is people around that you can ask, so you do make sure you get the right cabin, but there's not going to be someone standing there checking you in. Because this is a Bulgaria to Turkey overnight train, we obviously have to cross a border. We looked online to try and get an idea of what that would be like. Seems like it's a little bit different for everyone, but the one common thread is that at the Turkish border, you have to take all your luggage off and get it all scanned. In all the trains we've done, in all the buses we've done, we've never actually had to do that. So at the very least, it's gonna be a new experience for us. Late discovery, but there is, it's not quite a block out point, but I feel like that plus this, I'm so impressed with the Sofia Express. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. We should be getting to the first border around midnight, so we're gonna try and get some sleep before then. It's 11.51. We're at the first border. We've just pulled into Zvilingrad, which is the town that the border controls are done. And I think we're going to be woken up by the border guards soon to get our passports. I think they start at the other end of the train, so we kind of have to wait until they get to us. Shouldn't be too long. It does give us a chance to get ourselves ready for the main event, which is crossing into the Turkish border. So we can get all our documents ready and make sure all our bags are easy to carry off the train and get our shoes on and things like that. It won't be long. Okay. This is train stations used just for border crossings, that's nuts. It's been a pretty easy one so far. The guy just came around and took everyone's passports and I'm just well, hope, hoping that he'll come back with them. The swapping beds, I had the top bunk like normal, but there's this red flashing light. So I was sleeping with my cardigan. So Jordan seems much more rested than I am, so I now get the bottom bunk for the next half. <laughs> it is 12.35, so about an hour later, and we're officially stamped out of Bulgaria with a little train. And just like that, we're stamped into Turkey. The Turkish visa check was super easy. We applied for our visas a few months ago. It was 60 USD, and they came through pretty much instantly. We did manage to print them off to take them with us, but it was all electronic, so we didn't need to do that. But safe dead, sorry. You basically hop off the train, there's this whole room that you just put all of your luggage through and you get scanned like at an airport. And then you walk across to a separate room where there was one single guy doing passport control for the entire train. But it went pretty quickly. It took a while to start, but then he was just stamp, stamp, stamp. Yeah. Now I think we can try and squeeze in another couple of hours sleep. Yeah on our way to Istanbul. It's 
6.49, which means we're about an hour and a half late, but we have just been woken up by a knock on the door, asked to turn these back into seats. So I think it's time for a quick breakfast before we arrive. most people if they were hoping to get in on time but we are loving it it means we got to sleep in we get to watch the sunrise and we have less hours to kill until we can check into our Airbnb massive win trains until we actually get to the city centre though. Yeah, apparently this train used to go all the way into the heart of Istanbul and actually used to go from all the way back in Budapest, but recently they've stopped that and now it comes to the Halkali station, which is kind of a suburb in Istanbul and about an hour away. There should be a pretty easy connection that we can take. For those that are thinking of doing this, there are no ATMs in the Halkali station whatsoever. So if you don't have currency to exchange or have lira, you won't be able to get on the train to take you into the heart of the city. <laughs> oh. We've got the Istanbul card, which was 50 lira each. Pretty easy to buy. There was a lady helping us with the machine. It doesn't take card. That's the Sofia Express, all the way from Sofia to Istanbul, overnight train, done. Getting into the city centre was super easy with the metro. Border crossing was great. Oh. That metro as well, packed. Packed. Absolutely crazy. Super clean, super modern, and quite easy to navigate though. And our Airbnb let us check in early. <laughs> 